Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I turn into the torso. I'm first taking a dark brown eye pencil. I'm just going to um, carve out an area where I want the womb to be because this is supposed to look as if I have no head and um, basically the top portion of my neck is open. So I'm going to also take a white eyeliner and I'm just going to make um, small circles where the bones will be showing on the wound. I'm going to take liquid latex and cotton balls and I'm going to pour some of the latex out into a small bowl and start to stipple it along the bottom brown line I created using a sponge wedge. And then I'm going to rip up the cotton ball into very thin strips. Now you want it to be very thin because if it is thick, if your cotton strip is too thick that you're working with and you put it on there and then you put the latex on top of it, it's going to take forever to dry. Trust me, I've made that mistake before and I was waiting like an hour for it to dry and it was horrible. So make sure it's thin and lay it across the latex and then put the latex on top of it with the sponge wedge. And now you want to take your um, spatula, whatever you're using, whatever tool, your finger, whatever, um, and smooth out the bottom portion of the cotton. And then for the top portion, you want to try to pull it away from your neck to make it look like your skin is like flapped open. So as you can see, I'm like pushing it down and I'm trying to, you know, push it out. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same exact thing across the rest of my neck. Okay, now I'm just going to allow it to air dry. I actually use the blow dryer on the cool setting to speed things up. And then I start to pull the latex and cotton swab away from my skin. So I hold up the skin on my neck and then I slowly peel away just the top. Don't pull it too far down because you might take the whole thing off. So you really want to emphasize that flap of skin that you have there. That's why I'm pulling it away and it's giving us an illusion that it's open. Now I'm just taking it more latex and cotton pieces and I'm creating texture in the wound. So I'm just going to lay the cotton on top and then put some more latex on top of it and it's going to look sort of bumpy. Okay, and then I'm going to allow that to dry. Next I'm going to move on to changing the color of my body. Now um, the torso was dumped in water. Um, you know cut up to pieces dumped in water so I mixed um, my lightest foundation a small amount of brown white and a little bit of blue to create this grayish toned skin color and I'm just putting that all over my body and my arms and now I'm gonna create bruising um, I mixed together red and blue cream paint and just stippled it all over and smudged it out with my fingers Now I just took black eyeshadow and I'm just creating um, a shadow inside of the skin so you can really see that it is open. And with red and a little bit of brown, um, I mixed that together, cream paint, and I started to put it inside of the wound. And I'm just going around the areas where the bone is supposed to be. And then I took um, small amounts of brown by itself and I just started to create um, a little more texture and going on top of the cotton that I placed in there. With an off-white color, I'm just painting inside of those two white circles that I created to look like the top of the bones. And I'm taking black eyeshadow and just adding more shadow and dimension to the inside of the wound. Now I'm going to start using a black body paint just to um, paint the top of my, paint my neck and to paint my uh, half of my face as well to so blend in with the background. 
you want to make sure that it's very black so if you have to um, do a couple of layers that will probably be a good idea. Now taking scab blood I just started putting it inside the wound going around those two um, bones. You don't want to cover up the bones completely you still want them to be somewhat showing through. And next I'm going to put some blood that I created. Um, I actually found this recipe on YouTube. It's just corn syrup and some food coloring. And I'm just putting it all around the wound and smudging it out on my body as well. Now the torso is wrapped in clear wrap, so I'm going to wrap myself in clear wrap. So I got this roll and I'm just going to start rolling it around my body. And if you have someone to help you, please have them help you do this because I was struggling. Yeah, so I'm just going to go around twice. And then that should be good. Now I felt like um, my black was sort of fading a little bit so I went back in with another layer. Okay, now to blend into the background I just used a black scarf and I just covered my face. I could actually see through it so it was fine for me. If you want to cover your entire face with black paint um, it is perfectly fine as well. And I just pulled it down so it blended in with the black paint on my neck and then the look was complete. That is how I turned myself into the torso. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, thank you for watching and please subscribe, like, and comment.